I'm rebuilding um, or rebuilding or fixing a floor switch for high beams for a Land Rover Series 2A and um, this if, if you're not familiar with it but this bolts to your floor with these holes and then this is for a foot switch it turns your high beams on and off so basically what it is it's just a simple switch that's all it, it's all it basically is there's no relays nothing fancy or nothing it's just a simple switch as you can see in here see the pin inside pushes back and forth when you push this down to your foot but anyways but what is happening when you push on that button is you have these contacts it's pushing this little piece of copper from one to the other you got your low beams high beams low beams and high beams that's all it's basically doing so I could show you this little piece of plastic right here goes inside like this so as that's going back and forth it pushes one side over it comes back pushes one side over and then you got your high beams you see down in there then the pin goes over and spins it this way high beams low beams that's basically all it does doesn't do anything else just switches it back and forth very simple but uh, all you have is your main switch body your your piece that goes back and forth that rotates the this little brass connector and you have a spring then your contacts and then on this side I tried to clean them up as best as I could but this is where your power connections you would have your power coming in here one side then this one would be for like your low beams and your high beams so as it's rotating back and forth it's making contact diagonal with these. Okay, I'm going to use some dielectric grease. Pour it inside onto the cam. Just get it onto the cam area there. Put it on the push pin. Everything that's sliding inside there basically is going to get some. All the moving parts. This part goes onto the bottom. And it rides on these these little uh, triangle looking pieces if you can see in there. That's what it rides on of these things. You could probably use just regular grease, but I'm using dielectric because it's it's just easier just to use one kind. on the inside too. Put that drop that down in there. Check to see if it works smooth. Works pretty smooth. You take your spring Put that down inside. This part is probably the best part to put the dielectric grease on. Toss the 
hold everything in place. You can see there, that's where it's going to ride on back and forth as it rotates. Take some more, put it on these contacts. Plus, it'll help it slide back and forth too as it's going. Okay, so the tricky part is getting this piece to go back down on and around the edge I had to bend all this off, bend the outside edge to get this cap off to even clean up the inside. Alright, so I kind of got that centered inside there. if I can get a wrench. I'll just use a hammer. Okay, I got a piece of wood. I'm going to rest, rest it down on there as I'm trying to hold everything in place. I'm going to give it a whack with it. Hopefully I can hold everything in one shot. I kind of held it in place a little bit. It took quite a few hits with the hammer and the chisel, but we got it pinched back in there, the top cover. So I got a multimeter. Now let's see if we have continuity between each contact. Try this one. This one. Oh, there we go. That that side is good. The switch is touching. So let's hit it. See if it turns off. There you go. No longer connected. Let's switch to these guys. Uh, this one. And there it is. Let's see if I hit the button. It's no longer done. So there it is. Now, rebuilt or fixed or cleaned up. Uh, high beam switch for a Land Rover Series 2A. Hope this helps. Have a good one.